Hello everyone. My name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BISP Self Learning Video Broadcast Solution. Today I am going to demonstrate you how to create a calculated field and a ruler field within Dynamic CRM. So first let's understand what is a calculated field. So basically calculated field it lets calculated field it lets you automate manual calculation used in business processes. Let's suppose I would like to do any manual calculations when the value in that particular field will depend on the field of on another field in in the same entity or in another entity so based on that I would like to calculate the value and display that particular value in a field so that field known as a calculated field so the calculated field can contain values resulting from simple math operations or conditional operations such as greater than or if else and many others now what are the calc what are the capabilities of a calculated field the cap the calculated field comprise the of calculations that use the fields from the current entity or the related parent entity as i have mentioned here that the value in that calculated field can get the value which will be calculated from the current entity or in the parent entity if they are in a relationship the expression support is available on the current entity and the related parent entity field in the condition section and and at the action section and a rich conditional support provides branching and multiple conditions the logical operations include and or or operator so we can have both and or or operators within calculated fields and as well as in condition section as well as in action section we can get the value which will be the value from the current entity as well as from the related parent entity field so let's see how to create a calculated field in a dynamic CRM and uh, so I will be going to demonstrate you through a, through an example so what's my scenario is so let me demonstrate you the scenario so my scenario is within sales functional area I have got a lead entity and within this lead I would like to display the lead score so I'm going to create a new field here first of all and that the name of that field will be lead score and the value will set to that lead score based on a certain condition and based on a certain selection which we can made within that lead entity so the first the step to create the calculated field so let's click on settings first of all I click on settings then click on customization after customization I click on customize this system Then I expand the entities and look for lead entity. So I look for lead entity and then I click on forms. And we'll get the list of active forms. So I look for the main form. That's the main form. So I click on this lead main form. And here I'm going to create a new field. And the name of that field will be lead score so I click on new field to create a new field here and the name I'll give to that is lead score field requirement I set it to optional searchable is yes field security disable and auditing also I set it to disable data type because it's a calculated field so the data type I'll go for whole number and then I select the field type as a calculated so you can see here as soon as I clicked on calculated I got an edit button because in this by while clicking on this edit button we need to set our conditions so I click on edit and when I try when I clicked on edit first of all it will save the field it will create the field and then I'll get one edit section edit dialog edit screen and here I'm going to add a condition and action so the first condition which I'm going to add is that if the in current entity lead if the purchase time frame is equals to immediate and as well as this quarter I set this to immediate and this quarter and I want to add one more condition and the in current entity lead the 
decision maker equals to mark complete or let's say completed instead of mark complete I go for completed then I want to add an action with this particular condition based on this condition so I click on add action and I want the action will be set lead score I want to set a lead score is equal to 80 the static value so what will happen it will check if the purchase time frame equals immediate or this quarter and the decision makers equals to completed it will set the lead the value of that lead score fields to 80 then I want to add one more condition again I check a condition here that if the current entity lead decision makers equals to complete if it is only completed means if the purchase time frame is not set to immediate or quarter and if the decision makers only set it to complete it so then I want to set the lead score to 50 and if the decision makers is not equal to completed and if the purchase time frame is not equal to immediate then I uh, yeah, set it. then at that time I want to set so there will be no condition so only the action will be I want to set the lead score to 10 so that's the complete condition and action then I click on save or you can directly click on save and close as well so once it is saved and closed I click on this also save and close so the field has created so you can see so if you want to see the fields you need to click on save it save and close and again open it so you can see the field has been created here when you click on field on field section of this lead and click on custom custom so you can see a field has been created new lead score now the next step we are going to do is we'll be going to place this field onto the form so again I click on form again I click on main form click on this main form expand it and then I look for that field in the in the field section and then I'm going to drag and drop that field onto the form so I look for custom fields we have got this lead score field so I simply drag and drop this lead score field just after this email field click on save and publish it publish so it will publish the customization and then we can test it so to test it we'll go to lead app lead entity and then we'll test it from there so I'll save and close it publish all customization to this solution basically to this the system solution and then after all the public the customization has been published successfully I closed it then I switch to sales and lead let's open any of the leads so I click on any a record here and uh, after the the record loaded successfully you can see the field has been added on the form the field has added and you can see the lead score is set to 80 because the identify the identified decision maker is set to completed and the purchase time frame is this quarter so let's suppose if it is not completed if it is simple mark complete and I unsave I save the changes you can see the lead score has changed to 10 so like this we can change the value of a calculated field or of a calculated field on an on a form of an entity based on certain conditions and we can add our own actions onto it so that's about calculated field another field which we have got in dynamic CRM is a roll up field so roll up field basically we can say that that roll up field will only work in a child parent child relationship first of all and roll up field is always used to do the aggregation on the child and the result will be or the output will always be visible or displayed on the parent entity let's take an example here so before taking an example let me explain you more about this that roll up fields are used to perform record level aggregation from related records roll up fields do not support all day all data types so there are only specific fields are supported by roll up fields Roller fields are only available for whole whole numbers, decimal numbers, date and time and currency fields. So these are the four data types which can be which supports roller fields. 
apart from this none of the none of the data type supports rule of fields and I have tried to explain you more about rule of fields by this figure by this chart you can see there is a table here in this we I so there are four aggregation functions there are four aggregation functions which roller field is supported first is count maximum minimum and sum so whole number only supports count if your data type is decimal so it can support count maximum minimum and sum if your data type is currency then you can only do you can only apply aggregation function or the on maximum minimum and sum and if if you are if you have your data type is date and time then you can use only aggregation function max and minimum because obviously you cannot aggregate the date and time or you cannot count the date and time same with currency you cannot count the currency we can calculate the currency we can find out the maximum value or we can find out the minimum value or we can find out the sum of the currency but we cannot count it so that by using this table i have tried to explain you about the data types and the aggregation functions <coughs> let's take an example so the, i have got a i have prepared an example here to explain you more about this whole field and the scenario is that i want to have a field on the account entity that roll up the estimated revenue for all open position related to the account it means there is a relationship between account and opportunity and i would like to show the sum of all the estimated revenue from the opportunity of that particular account and i would like to place i would like to display the output or place the output field on the parent object so just remember one key point that roll up field the value of the the output of the roll up field will always be displayed on the parent entity not on the child entity because for child entity we have calculated fields but here the requirement is i would like to display i would like to show the output or i would like to display the output on the account form or the parent form so for that i am going to use roll up field so let's see how to perform this so for this again i am going to click on settings and do the custom click on customization again i am going to click on customize this system again i click on customize this system and then i expand the entities because i would like to add the field on account entity so expand entity click on forms we need to add a field here so i expand the form we can create fields by going directly into field as well i am going to create fields by directly going into forms so i click on main form of account entity and then we will be going to create a new field and the data type of that will be will be roll up field so let's click on new field i click on new field and the name of that field will be open revenue so i'll give a name open revenue and it's optional yes again no auditing as i told you you can see here we have various data types but the roll up field the roll up you can see here the field type roll up is not coming and you will only get the roll up if this particular entity will be a parent in a parent and child relationship if this will not be a parent in a parent child relationship roll up field will not appear okay and uh, as i already explain you this data type that roll up field will only appear if you are if you have selected any of any one of these four data types whole number decimal currency or date and time so in this case i am going to select currency so i select currency from here so i select currency and as soon as i select currency i get a roll up data type roll up field so I, the data type i have already selected currency and then from here i select roll up and as soon as i select roll up again i got an edit button so i click on edit so it will create the field and a new dialog box will open a new screen will open and in this screen we need to customize it so first of all you can see the source will be account and use hierarchy yes obviously it will be going to use the hierarchy and the relationship will be account parent account so i check this then i click on 
filter option and I'm going to add a condition here. So if you want to add any condition, you can add a condition based on a certain condition. So if you don't want to add condition, I'll directly go to related entity and I add a related entity and the related entity will be I select here related entity will be opportunity and that the opportunity which is related to account I save it and here I'm going to apply a filter that it will only ex it will only get the opportunity it will only get only those record whose opportunity is open so I'll select here whose opportunity status so I'll look for here whose status equals open so it will only read those records and then I'm going to add an aggregation function so I click on aggregation I click on aggregation and the sum of opportunity or this is actual revenue but, but we want the estimated revenue so I look for estimated revenue so I remove this and I write here estimated sorry estimated revenue so that's the condition so means that's the whole setup we have done so related ent entity will be all so what it, what it is doing it is getting the records from the opportunity and it will get only those record whose status is open and it will apply an aggregation on the estimated revenue so I save and close this save and close obviously we need to save and close this again I, I'll open it because the field will the custom field only get affected once we save and uh, save close and open again so now I can see the custom field has been added and I'm going to place that custom field onto the form so I've got a custom field open revenue so I drag and drop this custom field and place after the ticker symbol or you can place as per your requirement so I place it open revenue here save it and publish publish So after it is published successfully, it's time to test it. So I save and close, publish all customization. And close it. And for testing, again I go to sales and accounts. And when I click on any of the record, let's suppose I uh, I'll open blue yonder airlines so you can see here I have got the op we have got the open revenue field the roller field and this roller field I'm getting the value 25,000 and how I'm getting the 25,000 because there is a recent opportunity added with this particular account and it is still open the status is open so if I click on this and if I close its status let's suppose I open this opportunity and I complete this opportunity I mark it complete so let's see look it's loading the records it's, it will open that particular opportunity and you can see here it is still open the status is still open it's in progress and I marked it let's say closed as one so I mark it as a closed as one and okay so once it is closed so it's closed now so let's go back to the status you can see here it's closed now if I go back to sales and accounts and again I'll open the blue yonder airline sample record so now you can see the the if I click on refresh here I can see the open revenue is zero because there, there is only one opportunity associated with this particular record and it's already closed which successfully won so let's do one thing let's create a new quick record or quick new opportunity record and the status will be open so I like say by TV and the budgeted amount is 45,000 the estimated revenue is 40,000 and the estimated close date any close date we can set and I'll save this so once I save this you will see the new opportunity has been added and its status is one and now when I refresh this field I'll get the estimated revenue over here because and I, why I'm getting this value here because the status is open here. that's how we can use a roll of field 
on a entity so that's all in this video if you have any queries if you have any questions you can visit our website www.bispsolutions.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on dynamic crm have a nice day ahead goodbye